The things that we tend to take for granted that keep us living comfortably, like water and electricity, we don't understand where it comes from. We turn a tap on and they expect it to be there. We turn a switch on and expect a light to go on. And it's a bit like that with food now. We have got so used to going into a supermarket and those shelves are full, and they are, every single day. Farmers are facing a huge challenge in their industry. There's less investment, there's a huge amount of pressure coming in to reduce their chemical inputs, there's erratic weather conditions, there's new strains of disease and pests coming through, the list is endless. All the while though, farmers have to increase yield and output to meet a rapidly growing population. The question is, how do they do that? Plant breeding is giving farmers a new set of tools which will improve the British farming industry. This is benefiting everyone in so many products that we use in everyday life. Plant breeding has been responsible for increasing yield so more crops can be grown per hectare. It has improved the processing quality of crops so millers, maltsters, crushers, distillers and processors can produce better flour, malt, oils, beer, whiskey and vegetable products. It has enhanced the nutritional quality of forage crops, so livestock produce more milk and meat with less impact on the environment. I've been farming for 30 years, and there's three things that are absolutely vital to my farming. First of all, there's the soil and the way I look after it. Secondly, there's the way I establish a crop and how I look after it through the growing season. And thirdly, and probably the most vital component, are the crop genetics. They're the things that I actually can work with to produce a crop. And it actually starts with the genetics. If I can achieve a harmony between those three things, I've got the foundation for a good harvest. Genetics are even more important than they were in the past because we see problems like climate change, we've got pests and evolving diseases. So we're looking to genetics to solve these problems. And that's going to be really vital if we are to provide affordable food for consumers because they will notice it the moment shortages arise. It can take up to a decade for a new variety to make it from lab to field. Plant breeders constantly have to predict the needs of farmers and end users and then create the solution. I think it can be argued that the Green Revolution ushered in a new period of production that in many ways actually saved society from starvation and provided affordable food for all. And now we're being challenged again to lift production, to service an even bigger population and it's genetics that will be the key to that.